Chapter 25 The Lord said to Moses, Tell the people of Israel that everyone who wants to may bring me an offering. Here is a list of items you may accept on my behalf, gold, silver, and bronze, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, fine linen, goat hair for cloth, tanned ram skins and fine goatskin leather, acacia wood, olive oil for the lamps, spices for the anointing oil and the fragrant incense, onyx stones and other stones to be set in the ephod and the chest piece. I want the people of Israel to build me a sacred residence where I can live among them. You must make this tabernacle and its furnishings exactly according to the plans I will show you. Make an ark of acacia wood, a sacred chest, three and three-quarter feet long, two and one-quarter feet wide, and two and one-quarter feet high. Overlay it inside and outside with pure gold, and put a molding of gold all around it. Cast four rings of gold for it, and attach them to its four feet, two rings on each side. Make poles from acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. Fit the poles into the rings at the sides of the ark to carry it. These carrying poles must never be taken from the rings, they are to be left there permanently. When the ark is finished, place inside it the stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant which I will give to you. Then make the ark's cover the place of atonement out of pure gold. It must be three and three-quarter feet long and two and one-quarter feet wide. Then use hammered gold to make two cherubim and place them at the two ends of the atonement cover. Attach the cherubim to each end of the atonement cover, making it all one piece. The cherubim will face each other, looking down on the atonement cover with their wings spread out above it. Place inside the ark the stone tablets inscribed with the terms of the covenant which I will give you. Then put the atonement cover on top of the ark. I will meet with you there and talk to you from above the atonement cover between the gold cherubim that hover over the ark of the covenant. From there I will give you my commands for the people of Israel. Then make a table of acacia wood three feet long, one and a half feet wide, and two and one quarter feet high. Overlay it with pure gold and run a molding of gold around it. Put a rim about three inches wide around the top edge and put a gold molding all around the rim. Make four gold rings and put the rings at the four corners by the four legs, close to the rim around the top. These rings will support the poles used to carry the table. Make these poles from acacia wood and overlay them with gold, and make gold plates and dishes, as well as pitchers and bowls to be used in pouring out drink offerings. You must always keep the special bread of the presence on the table before me. Make a lampstand of pure hammered gold. The entire lampstand and its decorations will be one piece. The base, center stem, lamp cups, buds, and blossoms. It will have six branches, three branches going out from each side of the center stem. Each of the six branches will hold a cup shaped like an almond blossom, complete with buds and petals. The center stem of the lampstand will be decorated with four almond blossoms, complete with buds and petals. One blossom will be set beneath each pair of branches where they extend from the center stem. The decorations and branches must all be one piece with the stem, and they must be hammered from pure gold. Then make the seven lamps for the lampstand, and set them so they reflect their light forward. The lamp snuffers and trays must also be made of pure gold. You will need seventy-five pounds of pure gold for the lampstand and its accessories. Be sure that you make everything according to the pattern I have shown you here on the mountain.'